Hi, I'm Seth Rosenblatt for CNET, and today we're taking a look at the Google Chrome CR48 laptop running the Google Chrome OS beta. So we've got this really interesting logo on the box. Uh, if you can see it, it's got a mouse here, jet engine here, and uh, let's see what we've got inside. We've got here a uh, sheet that tells us how to learn the controls. So here's the laptop in the bag. Now let's take it out. It comes with the battery out, so we're going to put that in. Pads down, snaps right in. As you can see, this isn't quite as thin as a MacBook Air, but it's got a really thin form factor. Very small, very light. So as you can see, the laptop boots right up into Google Chrome. It's pretty fancy, and instantly it wants to get started. So as you can see, the laptop has an oversized trackpad. It's really quite easy to use, very smooth feeling, and the sides of the trackpad are rubberized, which makes it really easy to rest your wrists on. And as you can also see up here, there's a webcam. One interesting thing about the laptop while it's working is you can see it doesn't have very many ports. All right, so Google Chrome is ready for me to log in. If you have a Gmail account already, you can sign in using that information, or down at the bottom, you can hit skip sign in and browse as a guest. So from opening the laptop to loading a website took about a minute. It's an extremely fast process. Uh, the CR48 has a 12.1 inch LCD display. It's got Wi-Fi 802.11n. It's got a built-in 3G chip from Qualcomm, flash-based storage. There's a webcam, as I said. The full-size keyboard is nice even without the caps lock key. There's the oversized touchpad. It weighs just a hair under four pounds. And Google says that the battery will give you eight hours of runtime or eight days of standby time. It should take about 10 seconds to boot up, according to Google, and we did see speeds that were pretty close to that. And it's expected to resume instantly when it's sleeping. For more information, check out CNET's first look video. For CNET, I'm Seth Rosenblatt. What's up, Brian Tong here, and if you want the scoop for all the good and bad inside the Apple world, then the only thing you should be watching is CNET's Apple Byte. I'll give you the latest news, rumors, tips, apps of the week, and even call out the bad apples. So watch it all at CNET.com slash Apple and I'll see you there.